Hello and welcome back to Seven Shillers DIY. Last week I showed you in our shop how to make all the fruit, and this week I'm going to show you how to make some cheese, some milk, some bread rolls, some delicious chocolate, and the best till last, some delicious licorice all sorts. So here's my bread roll, just of here. And we just cut a ball in half and use the half of the ball, but you can actually buy these half balls like these wooden balls. And all we've got to do is put like two slits in it. All I did was I just drew across here and across here. So I could see where I got to go and I used a round file and I just rubbed until I got the cross in there. That's my malvoisor video. Okay, I'm going to mark the piece of cheese, uh, chocolate this time, cheese, chocolate, whatever it will be. Just along here, mark all the pieces where I've got to cut. cut. One more. And then I've got my Japanese saw that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to saw along the line. Now I'm going to drill holes in my piece of wood because this is going to be my piece of Emmentaler and I'm just going to drill holes all over the place. So I've got my cheese here where I've already drilled the holes in that I'm going to then sand down, get all the splinters off it, all the pieces, loose pieces of wood. That's going to be my first job, that's why I've got the sanding paper here. My second job is going to be these pieces of chocolate. They need some markings on them so that then they look like chocolate. I'm going to do that with the saw and with the file and of course the sandpaper as well. Then the next job is to paint, paint these two, the chocolate, the cheese and over here I've got the bread roll. I'm going to paint that as well at the same time. They're already all prepared. So that's the cheese is done. <coughs> I'm now going to move on and do these chocolates. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take one of the chocolates, take the ruler and the pencil, and I'm just going to measure it off more or less evenly, five and a half. We've finished sanding and rubbing back. Now I'm ready to paint. And as always, decent paint brushes, decent color. Have to make sure that we do everything twice, back and front. So I'm going to start painting. So I'm now going to show you how to make these licorice all sorts. There's the round rod on the table. I'm just going to measure, cut off a little bit, and then they've got to be painted. They're quite easy to do. They have to be sanded as well. So. Now 
now I'm going to make a carton of milk for the shop. This is my template and here's my piece of wood that I've already marked how long it's got to be as you can see. It's a bit of a shadow there here like that. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to mark and oh, this way around mark and cut the angle so I'm going to mark here then I'm going to saw this off first and then I'm going to saw just of here. And just to finish the milk off, I'm just going to sand it. I've started to paint my licorice all sorts. I've painted just them in one colour, a yellow and then a pink all over and then an orange all over. What's missing now is the black dot in the minute that looks in the middle that looks like then the licorice all sorts. So while we're waiting for my licorice all sorts to dry, I've got the milk. I've already painted them white, just plain white all over. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these stamps. My licorice all sorts are now dry and I'm going to put them in these glasses, just like these jars just like you would in a sweet shop. I'm going to mix them a little bit. There we go. So here are all the old things ready to go in the shop. If you want to know how to make these boxes, they were in the video, the last video from last week. So just take a look in the info card up above and you can see then how Mr. Set made these boxes. Um, and now we're going to take a look what it all looks like when it's all put in the shop. So my granddaughter's shop is now finished and I'm sure she'll love her Christmas present. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe down below.